uh, if a child was having a, a middle of an asthma attack, many times we give oral corticosteroids. When and why do you would select oral corticosteroids over inhaled? If a patient is having an asthma attack where his controller medications were not successful to prevent and his reliever medication, his beta agonist, either albuterol or zopinex, was not successfully relieving the symptoms, oral steroids would be the next step in therapy. Oral steroids are given in order to decrease the inflammation and acutely relieve that emergency piece of asthma, the difficulty breathing, the wheezing. These medications are very important rescue medications to prevent the more serious complications that concur if a patient's asthma is out of control. The important thing to remember is that when giving oral corticosteroids, more severe complications can occur. Given these medications for only short periods of time will relieve or prevent many of these complications. And it's the long-term use that's the most important problem. However, if the patient continually gets repeated short courses of oral corticosteroids, complications can still be seen. If a child is having some shallow breathing and gasping, you don't give oral corticosteroids. You go to the emergency room or call 911. Is that true? Absolutely. You should have a plan as to how to treat your child or yourself if your asthma symptoms develop. Your first step is to start with the beta agonist, your albuterol, your zopinex. And whether you give it in a pump form or by a nebulizer, you should give it based on the instructions your doctor has given you. If your symptoms do not get relieved promptly, then visiting your doctor or calling 911 or going immediately to the emergency room is important because it's only there that a full evaluation can be made and the proper therapy can then be instituted. That's why sometimes when a, a school nurse or somebody else outside the family sees the kid is put in a very compromising position, not knowing the kid that well, and sometimes they try to do the right thing, but there's a big delay when a kid is called acidotic, and all the medicine won't work in acidosis. Is that true? This is very true. The school nurse is a very important part of our treatment team, yet she's in one of the most difficult positions because she's very limited in the resources that she has at her disposal. We frequently will give the nurse the ability to give one dose of medication in school to relieve milder symptoms. However, I frequently do not allow a nurse to give more than a single dose and would much rather that patient come to my office or if severe, go directly to the hospital so that more definitive and comprehensive therapy can be instituted. Remember, if your child is having asthma and it's been controlled, and all of a sudden they're starting to have symptoms in school, it's very important to identify the cause of those symptoms, not merely treat those symptoms. If the nurse is giving the medication, but there's no investigation as to what triggered the problem, the symptoms will inevitably come back over and over and over again. Thank you very much.